Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We are back in Westland Survival. How are you doing? Hope you're all well. So this is post the Halloween update and unfortunately for me it was a very disappointing update at that. So for those that actually commented in the comment section in the previous video, I thank you very much for reaching out and um, letting me know what you guys did to try and secure yourselves um, your pieces to the puzzle and um, getting a little bit more success than what I did out of the Halloween event. So unfortunately for me, I didn't get quite to where I wanted to be. So I did try my very best on that. And unfortunately I didn't get too far. So it is what it is. So I'm going to move on and we're just going to, you know, go about our day. So what I wanted to do is I want to check the notice board and I want to yeah, go on a quest and we are going to find um, ourselves a bandit. So hopefully, with any luck, we will get ourselves our bandit, our bounty, and that'll be that. So this is basically what we can do today for, uh, for this video. And hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I haven't done a bounty run for a little while now because I know they were a little bit broken um, in previous updates. So I sort of tend to stay away from them at the time. But hopefully, now that a couple of updates have sort of been and gone, um, hopefully they have ironed out that um, issue there. But we're going to see how we go with that. And hopefully, um, we'll have some success with this today. So, this is what we're going to do. It may be a short video. I'm not too sure exactly how long this will take. But I just thought I'd just be a little bit upfront, let you guys know what we're doing. Anyway, if you guys do end up enjoying the video there, make sure um, to be sure to hit a like on the old uh, button there and comment down below, let me know what you thought about the game. Also, if you guys are new to, to the channel and if you guys like what you see, don't forget to subscribe, do all that sort of good stuff, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Do play a lot of survival games there, trying to branch out to other games as well at the same time. So if you guys want to stick around, check out what I do have on my channel, definitely go ahead and have a look at see. You may have noticed um, I'm actually playing a PC game, which is a, a big difference to uh, the standard mobile game. So if you guys want to check that out, please check out Last, uh, sorry, not Last Day on Earth, uh, Seven Days to Die. So it's on the Alpha 18 uh, stable build at the moment. If you guys haven't heard of Seven Days to Die, please check that out. Um, it is an awesome game. If you guys are into any sort of PC gaming, um, if you guys want to branch yourselves out to another survival game, I do highly recommend that you check that one out. Um, it is an awesome game. One of my favorite games I've been uh, watching it for quite some time on other people's channels and fell in love with the game. Finally, that I've got the ability to play it for myself. So. Yeah, I want you guys to check it out as well. If you guys enjoy it, please check it out. That'd be an awesome thing uh, if you guys can do that. Anyway, so right now we are just sort of taking our um, our time and just going through the pinery. Hopefully, we'll get some pieces to the uh, the old map there to get ourselves our bandits um, hideout. So at the minute, we're just trying to find anybody and everybody, anyone that can sort of run into the zone or that may have a piece of the map sitting there, um, I'll be able to grab and hopefully we can get ourselves uh, that bandit. But so far, nothing's come up. So I'm just going to sort of run about and see if there's any body that fits the description thinking that they might have what I'm after, but so far, not so much. Also going to check some of the um, some of the chests and loots around here because so I think it's been known that they've had you know certain pieces to the puzzle. But you know, correct me if I'm wrong. It's been a while since I've actually done it, so um, hopefully we might be able to find uh, some of the pieces. Ah, there we go. Is that the whole lot? That's not the whole lot. That's just a fragment. It looks like a complete piece. Uh, um, there you go. So I have no idea what's going on there. Oh, we've got a bear on our hands. Okay, thank you very much. I'll go ahead and take that. And let's go see what we've got here. And there's another piece. Can we join them? No. So I think we need one more. If I'm not mistaken. I think it's anywhere up to three or four pieces, something like that, that you might need. 
I'm uh, just gonna take all the empty water bottles. I really don't want to craft them myself. I mean, it's in terms of making it um, a water skin bottle, you may as well, they, they're that common. You'll find them all over the place and they're easier to come by than what people think. And by the time that you find the required uh, materials to, oh, there we go, there's four. So let's have, let's have a quick look anyway while I'm sort of doing this. Uh, water skin, full jar, okay. Um, oh, I, actually, I can't. And no, no, no. Oh, here we go, empty jar. Yeah, so you need two thin leather. And to get thin leather, you need at least six rough skin. And rough skin is not as easy to come by as it was in previous updates. So they sort of rebalanced that for a reason. And to find them, you do need to kill things like rabbits like that, or hares, if you whatever you want to call them, and you might find just one, so, yeah, and there, there are certain animals out there that do have, um, the rough hide, look me, this guy thinks he can just hit me, I might be able to get one shot on him, there we go, just before he leaves the map, do you have anything interesting for me, um, you do not, I'm going to leave you alone, uh, but yeah, that's what I was sort of saying beforehand, um, you you will find it a lot more difficult to find the rough hide. So I tend to sort of find find these things, you know, in among zones, wherever they are, and I'll sort of make a point to grab them. And the other reason why I do that is purely just so I can get, um, obviously, them filled up, but also use them for medical um, uses. So healing herbs, things like that, uh, the infusions, all that sort of stuff. So that's pretty much the reason why that I sort of... Um, have a bit of a taken a bit of a liking to them I should say anyway um, I think we've got the whole lot we can join there we go and we can definitely go ahead now and read and we should have access on the map as soon as I finish eating up okay so let's get to it this should expose the hideouts for these guys and by the time I hit these guys I should have a uh, there we go these guys are over there by the time I take these guys out um, I'll have enough to annoy the bandits which I'll have bandits in the next six and uh, six and a half seven hours something like that and just got to do the old base defense so I am liking the bandit system and I do enjoy you know, when you do annoy the bandits enough, when you do get them to come to your base, you got to defend them, find their hideout, take their loot, things like that. I, 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 I do enjoy that. So it is fun to do. Um, I'm hoping they do other versions or variations of that. I think they said something about um, just uh, these guys are just out of nowhere. Come on, you guys. Ooh, I am naked. Um, yeah, I'm hoping that they do other sort of like maps or other variations of def um, base defense. I mean, this one's a little bit different to what I've seen as well, but also um, difficulty uh, levels as well. So there goes da there goes Darius. He's out for the count, um, which just completed that one there. So that's all been sorted. Let's go ahead and eat up. But I'm, I'm hoping that they do, you know, they should do longer versions of bounties. So, say for example, you've got two stages. So, one would be, um, okay, so one would be what we've just done now. And, th and that was fairly easy. Fairly easy to go through without any problems or fuss or anything like that. So, let's say for example, Darius, who we just took out, he could be, say, like, the right hand man to the main bandit if that makes sense so you could always have like an example where you've um, defended your base and it, it exposes the bandit's location um, you could have say that setting as stage two to the bandit um, to the bandit raid or not bandit raid sorry the, the bandit hunt and I'm thinking that might be a good idea whether or not that that would be the case for doing it in this sort of manner, but I'm thinking maybe that sh that could be a good way of um, making the adventure a little bit longer than what it currently is at the moment. So I think that's something that I would like the developers to do. So you could basically 
do the bandit quest, get Darius. Darius has something on him, like another map or another fragment to, an, uh, to another map, or like a note. And if you read the note, let's say it'll allow you to um, go on another quest in addition to um, f uh, finishing off, say, Darius Crackers there, for example. So you'd still come back, you still finish off your quest, and then that'll be that. But the note will allow you to go on an additional quest line and you've got to find his boss or his leader or something like that. Or it could be um, a map, another map um, finding exercise where you find his loot or something like that. As like a continuation. And let it be like a, um, it'll have some sort of definite timer or something like that. And at least this way you would have that ability to, um, you know, find better loot, things like that. I think that'd be really cool. If we, if we could do something like that, if the developers were sort of keen on doing something like that, I reckon that'd be really cool, that'd be pretty neat, and at least that way it'll sort of keep, keep us more engaged in the game. Um, I don't know, developers, if you guys watch my videos, um, yeah, that's, a, that, that's an option, that's a suggestion I'm going to make to you guys, hopefully you guys might consider something like that in future. Um, but also you could, you could always use that as well when the bandits come to raid you, if you've annoyed them enough so that's another that's another thing as well that could be something that we could look at um you know it could be like a very hard boss or something like that so similar to that of like the spirit cave in a sense where the bandits might be a little bit harder but also once you've cleared out their um, their hideout there might be something else that you can um that you can go on another another quest so whether it be finding the loot or finding another boss and sort of taking out the, uh, the set boss as well. So that's what I'm thinking. Um, but again, I don't know whether or not we are anywhere sort of near that or if the developers have anything like that in the pipeline for them to um, sort of consider, I guess, um, if there's something like that that they could do. Um, I reckon it'd be pretty cool if they could do something like that. So yeah, like I said, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. And let me know what you thought about that whole expl explanation. I do go off a bit of a tandem, but I feel like to sort of really enhance this game and to set them, set this game apart from all other survival type games, I think something like this that the developers have or should have that capability of implementing. And they sort of have done it in a way where, in a sense, where there, there is, you know, you do have bounties and quest lines to do. So they could always easily put in a second string to that and put something else into, um, into the game that allows something as such. So that's what I'm thinking. And I, I hope that, you know, something like this could have, you know, could happen in the future. I'm not saying that it should happen, you know, right next uh, update or anything like that, but at least something that could be done um, that allows us to, you know, have that functionality. Like I said, it'd be pretty neat. So otherwise, I think that's pretty much it. That's all I've got here. So I guess I'll ride back home. Um, but also I want to show you what I've sort of been up to. Not, really not too much. And there hasn't been really too much progression in the um, uh, upgrade the workstation space. So I've pretty much done everything that there needs to be done. I think there might be one or two, if any, that I need to um, focus on and upgrade to the next tier. Um, that allows me to get the next string of um, uh, of resources available. So one would be, I don't think I've done this, have I? Um, I have, okay, I have done that, definitely. Um, I think it might be the repairs bench that I haven't done yet. So the repairs bench is one that I need to do. Um, which I, at this stage, I, don't, I would probably think this would be the last workstation that you'd want to upgrade, having if you had the resources. Um, that's probably the, the one thing I'd probably leave towards the end, but I finally did this and this was needed. So now I've got the ability to create things like weapon parts, but I've got a ton of weapon parts. I don't, there's no urgency for me to make weapon parts at all right now. So for now, I'm going to leave that. Predominantly, I need a lot of this, so. And I think I do have steel in my inventory as well at the same time. So uh, let's have a bit of a peek and steel plates. 
I should have steel bars in here. I've got a lot of steel plates, to be honest. So there you go. I've got a lot of steel ingots. So more or less take a stack of that. I don't think I have any other stacks, to be honest with you. I've got some more water jars, which I will take. Um, thin leather I've got here. The rough skin I've got there. So if I really wanted to craft my own, I think I probably could. Um, there's some more steel there, which I'll, I'll, I'll just take them in stack loads, to be honest with you. But I've got an excessive amount that I can use for now. So I probably want to get some of these rivets um, set up as well. So I might just do an even 10 there. The steel nails, um, yeah, why not? Let's just make a stack anyway, just in case if I need it. Like I said, I've got a lot of this, so I don't have any problems with making plates or anything like that. May as well just make the whole lot, don't worry about it. So I've got 15 going, which is fine. And that's pretty much it. And I do need to get this up and running. So this will probably be the next um, workbench upgrade that I'm going to do. So I do need a little bit more ash plank to get this one sorted. And once that's done, I'll be able to upgrade that. And pretty much away we go. Um, do I have any clothing here? I think I, yes, I do. There we go. Perfect. So at least I've got something to go on. And once I get this one upgraded, I will be able to go to armor four. Uh, well, level four armor, I should probably say. But then, and then that's pretty much it. And that's the reason why that you're gonna need steel as well. So you need some rivets and things like that. And to be honest, the, the investment for this isn't too bad. I've done a lot of runs in the Southern zones as well to make a bit of a stockpile. So I shouldn't have a problem in doing pretty much anything I want really to be honest until I get the next dating I guess and what that sort of entails. Um, I'm probably going to need to do some of these as well so I'm going to make 10 of these for now whilst that's all being processed. But yeah the other thing that's really holding me back is um, just heels and I really need to sort of um, hunker down and actually get my heels up to scratch because I really don't have much heels to speak of at the moment. Um, I've got a lot of meats and things like that which I really need to focus on and get these cooked up so I've got steaks and things like that um, but what I need to do is I need to spend time in green zones obviously wood and things like that so I can make some coal and I can get those cooked up and then that'll be pretty much it but otherwise um, that's pretty much all I've got here for today so I appreciate you guys stopping by as always so if you enjoyed the video, as I said before, make sure you hit the like button, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts about what I mentioned about the, uh, the whole bounty system and what could be done and what we could do, or what we could have, sorry, in the future. I think something like this would uh, actually be really, really cool and like I said, really new, unique to this uh, general style of games. Um, so hit me up, let me know. But otherwise, if you guys are new to the channel, as I said before, please hit the subscribe button, notification bell. Check out some of the other games that I'm playing. Check out Seven Days. I really enjoy that game. Hasn't got a, hasn't got much love at, at the moment on the channel, so I really want to stick with it, and I really want to want you guys to enjoy the series as well. Um, and if you guys are interested, check it out. Anyway, that's all I've got here for today. So take it easy, and I will catch you next time.